My Hero Academia. <laughs> You're actually absolutely correct. It is My Hero Let's Academia. Go. I want to fucking roll, man. Yeah. Uh, RGC. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is My Hero Academia Chapter 300, The Hellish Todoroki Family Part 2, I think it's called. I'm not on the last page right now. It's my RGC, Chris. It's also mine, so. Certified RGC. Certified RGC. Let's go. Certified RGC. Oh, man, it was really good. Mm, not yours, huh? <laughs> hey, no. look. I mean, you know, it was close, honestly, this week between this and another series, but yeah, I don't know. I feel it, like it was it was good. It was good. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to see where this cha- what this chapter brings, but um, we start off with basically the explain the explanation that society is shit right now. Uh, along with the Nomus, there are also all these villains running around causing yeah. trouble. Um, we run into these guys, the Shion, uh the Cider House gang, which is this group of villains that uh. Bakugo and Todoroki took down earlier when, um, I don't know, I think when they started their internship or right before, maybe when they got their licenses finally, like officially, mm-hmm. uh, they took these guys down pretty easily. And uh, now they're out because they just got broken out of the Xi'an prison. So, you know, they're fucking shit up. And uh, the civilian comes through with a support item. And uh, it turns out he's not alone. There's a ton of people with support items uh, around and uh, in that moment, that's when the I think at the time, this is the number 10 hero wash pulls up. And I'm like, oh, man, am I about to see wash fight? Wash, wash, wash. Is this the guy that I thought was was supposed to be the bad guy? No, that's the other dude, right? The vacuum guy. No, you're talking about uh, 13 or something. Yeah, you, you thought 13. OK, I still remember. I still. I mean, you're wrong because he's not she's not. She's very confirmedly not as she got fucked up during that by villains. It could have been a, I'm telling you, yo, that could have been a rule. They didn't die, they didn't get killed. So many villains didn't get so, so many heroes didn't get killed. Doesn't mean anything. Nah, man. You're talking about when the first normal pulled up in that training arc, right? I mean in that in that No, I'm talking yeah. about now. She didn't no but not that many heroes died. Comparatively. Like she's you said a... about any hero. She doesn't really do combat. She's a, she's a saving hero. She's no. a, she's a support hero, person? I think. No, no, uh, 13. Well, oh. so is Wash. Wash the is also right. more of a the support person hero. For the school. Yeah. That's the one I say is the, is the mole. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, in any case, they they explain further that, you know, after, I guess, Detnerat left, let out, like, using the support items that you could buy from Detnerat, uh, villains started to arm themselves. Uh, civilians started to arm themselves and fight against the villains, but to no avail because even with all of this new combat stuff, they weren't really a match for villains with more expertise or more experience with their abilities and are used to fighting. So, you know, all these battles ended in like a lot of casualties and damage to the city that they fought in. Um, so, not a fun time for Wash, who's looking down at the support item we saw in that earlier old man is like, Wash. Wash, Wash. <laughs> like a Pokemon. Wash. <laughs> so, you know, the rest of the, the surviving civilians are, are pissed at him because it's too late. You know, we were just waiting it out inside since we couldn't leave, but we were cro- hitting the crossfire anyway. So, so where was you, Wash? <laughs> you could have changed <laughs> everything, your Wash. Laundry? <laughs> uh, but, what you know, fuck were you hiding, Wash? Huh? <laughs> Next to While my family was her. being tortured to death, where what? were you, Wash? <laughs> uh, wash. You're supposed to wash these villains up, Wash. Um, I mean, honestly, this isn't. I'm happy that doesn't deter Wash's spirit because he's like, let's disinfect those wounds and get you to a hospital. As bubbles start mm. to emerge from his belly. Uh, wash. I thought he could only say "wash." I was a little disappointed when he actually started saying words. That's what I thought. He started saying. He started talking about like, Ugh, lame. <laughs> he, all he says is "not wash." <laughs> what a bummer. Um, they explain further that the ranks of heroes began to thin. Uh, even heroes that have like good reputations and a lot of talent, kind of you know, started to quit on everybody. Yes. Even Yoroshi, Yoroi Musha, the number nine hero, announced his abrupt retirement. Josh, I can't hear you. 
Are you muted? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to have as strong of a sarcastic edge, but wow. I can't believe that number nine hit with himself. Quit. <laughs> what a heavy loss. Yeah. I mean, he looked cool. He had the samurai thing going on, but yeah, he yeah, quit. He's old as hell, man. He's a little bitch. He's a little bitch, basically. Yeah, basically. He ain't built for that. Absolutely. Look man. at him. He's an all I have a But he's also old as fuck. Yeah. You don't want to save people? Hey, man. Tom Brady is playing till he's like 45. This guy can't be a hero when he's 87. This guy looks. <laughs> he looks well beyond 45. You think? You think Tom is not gonna play till he's 85? Uh, but yeah, he's basically like, I'm out. You know, he explains that in light of the recent destruction, I see no option but to follow my sword and resign. So, and you know, the public sees through it immediately. They're like, you fucking phony. Why don't you just say you're quitting your job? You know? And in, yeah, like Josh says in his mind, he's thinking to himself, all I ever wanted was love and respect. And eesh, what a fucking asshole. Um, but yeah, a lot of heroes fucking quit. Uh, a lot of people really showed their real colors because many eagerly signed up for the cause when a peaceful society was the baseline assumption, but for better or for worse, the meaning of the word hero was being put to the test for better or for worse. Those heroes were being put through a sieve. And as we see, as, this is what almost made it. To yeah, RGC because me. as this narration continues, we see uh, a pair of feet just walking, and then we look up, and it's Stain himself. He goes up to this Let's dilapidated go. store, and he picks up his rusty sword, and he's like, "Yes." <laughs> I'm thinking that this is gonna be Stain's arc for him to like start fucking mowing down criminals and shit and villains. It's gonna be fucking dope. That would be cool. I hope it's that and not against heroes. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna continue what I was doing before. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also I'm also wondering if maybe the vigilantes characters are gonna show up. Well, I don't know. How far back does vigilantes go? Because I think they're like when All Might was still active. So yeah. So we know. still don't know what fully happened. Yeah, I don't know. Um. But in any case, people, they were talking about how, um, what's more, people were placing that responsibility on the shoulders of one man in particular, Endeavor himself, man. Jeez. I mean, when you're the number one hero, (laughs) you get kind of like, it's like being quarterback. When things go wrong, it's your fault, (laughs) you know? Um, But yeah. Toad from Super Mario? (laughs) You're right. I didn't even see that. (laughs) <laughs> it is Toad from Super Mario, it looks like. What is good with this guy? He has, <laughs> like... <laughs> this is like I'm the... going to up- put this goofy shit in here. He, this is like the upteenth yeah. reference to Mario I've seen in this series. There's been other references to Mario. I guess he just likes oh. Mario a lot. I mean, it is awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at it. I just think it's really funny. <laughs> that, um... Okay, so I guess Dr. Toadstool is just <laughs> explaining to him that, like... <laughs> Your son and you know, the others are mostly out of the woods. So even even you managed to pull through. I'm rooting for you, Endeavor. And Endeavor's not feeling it <laughs> necessarily. He's not uh he's not jumping for joy. You know, he's like, My head's still in the fog, I'm still alive. Um he's like, Man, he must have known I would have survived, dude. This sucks. I froze in place. For the second time, my son, a son of mine was in mortal danger, and I found myself paralyzed. Uh, paralyzed. It's like, sure, best genius managed to disprove a one part of that speech, but he couldn't erase the greater part of that truth. It's all true. I'm just re- reaping everything I sowed. I might get to live on, but Endeavor died back there. I just f- said Endeavor died back yeah. there. Holy shit. Bro, he's weeping. Yeah. In his bed. Ultimate depression. Uh, he is... <laughs> I don't know. This was like the. This is like the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, like this is. He, he was already atoning for the crying camel. The weeping camel. <laughs> yeah, like he 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 was already atoning for all the shit he's already done, and now this is him like realizing that. Everything oh. just came crashing down. The whole world basically crashed down on him when he's at his peak. 
Like when you're at the top of the mountain, it's a really long fall to the bottom. Yeah. You know? Not only that, is that he And this time it went really fast. Yeah. Not only that, he's like talking to himself thinking like, my son's a mass murderer and yet I can't fight him. Um Yeesh. That's tough. I mean, you know, it's to like to, to have well, the... you are the number one hero. I'm not trying to hear that shit. <laughs> this nigga needs to build the bridge and get over it. So, like that's all <laughs> I mean the, he's human though. Like the, like the mindset that you have right now, Josh, is the it's the same mindset that everybody outside. One at Hold a on. time, guys. One like, at a time. <laughs> this, this, no, this mindset that you have is the same mindset that the general public has in in this story itself. You know, and that's not a bad thing, right? Like, but if you think about it, that's literally the same exact problem that's happening with society. They disconnect what it means to be a hero and opposed to what it means to be human because at the end of the day heroes are still humans right yeah he abuses so, toddler boys no problem <laughs> but, but but couldn't land any decisive blows on his zombie ass fucking looking i think he's not saying super that he, insubordinate like what the hell i'm i'm i'm, I'm not saying i don't think he's saying that he can't beat him is that like he can't bring himself to f- kill his own son basically like, I don't yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, he was already, like, he spent all this time thinking that his son was dead. And not only is his son alive, but his son has also become a monster because of his actions. Yeah. That shit gets, gets to you. Yeah. Oh. Can't relate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, watch, Josh, when you turn, when you inevitably turn your son into a monster, you'll understand then. When you make him dye his hair and dance on a giant's back, then you'll understand what Endeavor's going through. Um, I'm not the only one that has minimal uh, uh, empathy towards this guy. I mean, not that I was super mad at him in general. It's just, you know, I'm not for this weeping shit. <laughs> no, you tough. Tough guy. There's no way, son. <laughs> you, tough guy, Josh. You need to step down or something. No. Yeah. Oh, because he tries to talk his shit to his kid, and then, well, I'm not gonna steal the, the thunder. Well, I'm go out and finish. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, honestly, in that moment, that's when Todoroki is uh, just pulls in, and he's like, "Fuck!" And he closes the door, noticing that his dad has just been weeping in this bed, uh, and uh, <laughs> I just noticed this. I didn't realize. I didn't really even like process this. That as soon as he shut the door. Endeavor just goes Shoto. <laughs> Screams at him to get back in. <laughs> yeah. So you know everybody comes in. Yeah, everybody comes in and he's like, "What are you crying over?" <laughs> and um, and was like, "I'm sorry. I didn't realize now this guilt. It's too late to matter. My heart. It's." And he gets interrupted by uh, Todoroki's mom. The, the mom of the family. The most anticipated character in all of the series. <laughs> yeah, she p- she pulls up and she's like, yeah? What about your heart? Those regrets Remember and that... The woman you abused <laughs> and I almost got the series canceled over? Yeah. Those regrets and guilt, the rest of us have borne that burden much more than you have. And he's like, Ray, what are you doing here? And she says, I'm here to talk about our family and about our son Toya. And that's where the chapter ends. A uh, big two page spread Look with you. Look at that face. Yeah. Yeah. I Endeavor is just like looking real pathetic right now. He's like, oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> this is. <laughs> my heart wasn't ready for this. <laughs> oh, this comedy. It was a really good chapter, man. Yeah. It wasn't the best. Yeah. I mean, I, I really liked it for, I guess, like this whole. Endeavor storyline has been one of the more interesting ones just because, like, it's kind of an ambitious uh, one in terms of character development is uh, turning an abusive father into, I guess, a redeemed character. Like, how do you redeem that type of person? So, Uh, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, no, it's more of a question of, like, what can you come back from, you know? Yeah. Like, because, like, this story is making it really clear, like, you know, just because you want to be redeemed doesn't erase everything you've done. And that's just been a common theme with Endeavor himself. Like, he, they just, they, he's never let off the hook. And 
um the deeper and the more he wants that redemption the farther away he gets pushed away from the goal you know like even now when he's weeping on his bed like his, his number one status everything he's ever wanted being questioned like even then he's still not gaining any sympathy for anything he's done and that's fair because you know look at all he's done yeah um no, yeah, I'm saying like in terms of, I guess, like technique and <laughs> trying to pull it off because that is a hard thing to write. Like, you know, looking outside of like the story and all that, that journey, it's hard to write. So I, it's interesting to see how it goes. And I think they've been doing it really well. Uh, it's, but the question is, is he really going to be redeemed, though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, forgiven him yet. So it's interesting enough. But I mean, I like this chapter for like the... Yeah, I like this chapter for the potential. Not for being soft. Yeah, not for being soft. Uh, what are these? Soft. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think, like, I get it. <laughs> I think you're being too harsh. This whole world is collapsing into himself. <laughs> Bro, he needs, to, he needs to burn bright. Remember all that shit he was talking to all night? Hey, man, I you gotta... Get. You gotta give him a chance. Maybe he'll burn bright after this. Keeps, a nigga keeps score, all right? <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, pay, I pay attention to the series. Mm. 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 I ain't forget. All right. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see where it goes. There's not much super to talk about. It's very cool to see, like how the world has transformed from this. Uh, I'm interested to see how it goes from here on out. But yeah, I mean, that's all I got to say. I call this my RGC. Uh. I don't have much to say. I just like that's what I felt in my heart. I felt like the art was pretty cool. Was it Ray or was it Stain? I'm, uh, I I would say both. I mean, I don't know why can't it be. Why does that have to be one or the other? I thought like overall as a whole, this chapter was very interesting and very cool to see how the world is changing. Um, also, it's like there it's, was no right or wrong way to answer that question, hmm. even though I tried to, you know, pigeonhole pigeonhole you into it. I'm going to pose the same one to Brian. Was it Stain or was it Ray? I think it was more Endeavor for me. I, I like... In, I, I don't believe you. I like it. I, I, I really like this Endeavor story. I think No, I swear to God. I really do like this chapter mainly because of Endeavor. Because he's the more, you know, complicated character in this chapter. Like, you know, somebody... Like, I'm not saying that he's a good you guy or... Seeing him cry? <laughs> no, I didn't enjoy seeing him cry. I just think it, it was interesting to see him cry, you know? Like, was... this guy has been a character who doesn't show any emotion aside from regret or guilt. And now he he's feeling more. Mustache. He uses fire for his mustache, and you feel bad and have empathy for him? That's why I feel empathy for Look him. At his face. <laughs> That's why oh, I feel empathy. I guess. <laughs> You know he's in a bad mood. His face got burned off. You know he's in a bad mood when he doesn't have his fire mustache. You need you need to pull up your homies when they're down, dude. I don't think that endeavor is gonna stay soft forever. I think he's just having a moment. You know? No, I think com- all jokes aside, completely. Um, these were like really huge steps for this character. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as there being a legitimate uh, redemption for him in a, you know, in a in a. In this day and age of, of manga and comics, where you know we we're very accountable, this is it. And you know you gotta get through the shit with Ray and have a whole family situation. I I'm actually really interested. I, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully... It almost got RGC for me. I was, I'm just cracking jokes. Here. Yeah, no, I know. I <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm not. I don't know why. I'm also hoping but... he stops being soft. I hope he gets stronger through this. I hope he grows. Yeah, you already know what time it is, man. He's just, I, I actually he's want him to be softer, you know, because you learn more about a character like, through that. You know what, guys? Well, I'm that's really fucked up, and I don't care how y'all feel about that. I'm gonna prove to y'all that I know I fucked up, and yeah. things need to change, and I need to get stronger, and we need to get stronger. I would have liked that, but you know what? He's human. Like it's I'm gonna get there. This isn't no the end of it. Kind of yeah, this is just the start of it. You know, I think like next chapter is gonna be a lot of a very like hard character grind. I think we're going to learn a lot about uh NG Todoroki in this time. And even Todoroki himself like uh Shoto. Shoto. But 
yeah, I mean, that's all, that's all I got to say. Very fun chapter to me.